Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to upload a, cost, a custom font to your Shopify store if you don't want to use Typekit or Google Fonts. So from your dashboard you're going to go to your online store, then themes, and download the theme. The theme will be sent to your email address and you can download it from there. I already downloaded mine and moved it to my desktop. I also already, already have my font downloaded. In this case, I downloaded a free font from Behance, Behance and moved it onto my desktop for clarity. This won't be perfect because the font isn't specifically meant for web, but I've had this question a lot and wanted to show a workaround. So in this case, I'm going to go to Font Squirrel and make an at font face kit, which you will need to make your font readable on most browsers. I chose the optimal setting, but if you want to be really thorough and aren't worried about file size, you can do expert. If you uh, select expert, you'll just get additional file types, so it will be readable on more browsers in theory. You can also save space by not uploading every, every variation of the font. For instance, if you don't think you ne you'll need italics, you can just delete that one from the font kit. Okay, so I'm just going to move the font kit I just got from Font Squirrel to my desktop to make it easier to see. So in this file that you just downloaded from Font Squirrel, you're going to get all the font file variations and a stylesheet.css file. You're going to open your Shopify theme back up and copy all of the files in your font kit and place them in the asset folder of your theme. Don't put them in a subfolder the Shopify themes don't support that. So just right into the asset folder. You also need to rename that style sheet CSS that you just got from your uh, font kit to font.css. Let's refer to the documentation and see the syntax we need to reference that folder. Okay, so we're going to copy and paste this piece of code and put it into the theme.liquid file in our theme. Let's just find that. It's in the layout folder. I'm just going to open this with my text editor. I'm using Sublime, but you can use any text editor. And then paste the code into the head section. Save that out. Then I'm going to go into the theme.scss.liquid file in the assets folder and open that with my text editor again. I'm going to change it to CSS so it's easier to read. And I'm just going to look up how the font is defined in this particular theme. There are a bunch of ways that you can do this, but just to save time, I'm going to create a new variable and assign the font family Andre Bold to it. and then set that font variable for all headers and save that out. The last step is to navigate back out to the project folder and zip the file. You can do this by right clicking and compressing it. Finally, you'll go back to your Shopify store and upload the theme. Once it uploads, you can preview it to make sure it works. And there you go, it works. Please like this video if you found this tutorial helpful and thanks for watching.